Thank you, Professor Rinsberg. Public protector, Ms. Tuli Madonsela. Guests, I will be as brief as possible because I know you've been waiting a long time. I welcome you to this, the seventh in our series of Helen Joseph Memorial Lectures. The lecture series was inaugurated in 2006. The choice of Helen Joseph as the emblem, the significant figure by means of which to shape the series, is based on the fact that she was unceasingly committed to the service and upliftment of others. Faculties of the humanities serve to inculcate in their students the disinterested gaze, the virtue of strict analytical procedure and so on, of gathering facts, of making distinctions between facts and interpretations, all in the name of, of seeking the most exhaustive, impartial and objective accounts of uh, human phenomena and actions. We seek to know about human meaning systems from every perspective in every way. Yet we also function to create a bridge to the very society and meaning systems that we study. We engage, we invite, we reach out, we offer drinks, and we hold the notion of the public good foremost in our minds. This lecture series has received the steadfast support of our Vice Chancellor, Professor Rensberg, and we are grateful for this. We've also received the steadfast support of Professor Leila Patel, and we are equally grateful there, since she has been a great mover in this process. Very briefly, in the past six years, in 2006, we had Jesse Duarte on the topic of celebrating the heroines of freedom. In 2007, Francie, Professor Francie Lund on building welfare for development, social security form in South Africa. In 2008, we had Professor Kada Asmal on law, morality, and ethics in public life in South Africa. In 2009, we had Dr. Kumi Naidu on rethinking civil, civil society, democracy, and development. In 2010, Dr. Shara Razavi on Worlds Apart, Rethinking Care in a Developmental World. And last year, we had Dr. Gary Barker on Men and Gender Equality Between the Urgency and the Confusion. This lecture series is part of a broader initiative in the faculty to provide a public platform for public intellectual discussion. Our various seminar series in the faculty uh, result in usually two to three prominent speakers in the, in the faculty and on our campus per week. This faculty has grown in stature and public intellectual voice in recent years to be among, I believe, the best in South Africa at present. And I'm proud to be a dean of a faculty that is home to so many outspoken, strident, intellectually passionate, sometimes very troublesome scholars. This, there's never a dull moment in humanities. Just a brief note on the pictures outside that you may have seen and you may have bumped into. It is called Visions and Voices, an exhibition of community images of life in settings of urban poverty in Johannesburg. The Center for Anthropological Research, directed by Professor Tia Devet, and the Medical Research Council of South Africa received funding from the UK's Wellcome Trust for this initiative. And uh, the exhibition outside is the work of 20 community photographers living in Bertrams, Hillbrow, Riverley, Bromfisherville, and Hospital Hill. And just as a final note, all the color photos were done with disposable cameras.